Hello, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in to the iTip Report. My name is Alba, I am the illest publicist. And today you have tuned in to my next vinyl review. Big shout out to everybody that made comments. I really appreciated all the great feedback. Um, so let's get into our vinyl review. I've been digging in the crates and I have my first vinyl review. It's by the one and only very soulful uh, TP. I love Teddy Pendergrass. This album is a freaking classic. TP, that's the name of the album featuring Can We Try plus two duets with Stephanie Mills. Big shout outs to Stephanie Mills. Um, Take Me In Your Arms Tonight and Fill the Fire. Fill the Fire was also one of my uh, favorites, but TKO is my ultimate favorite Teddy Pendergrass album. This album cover, I love it. It's very down to earth. We got the neutral fashion going on. Fly. Then we turn around to the back. You know, a little bit of more the charisma. Love the picture. Love the style. Uh, very. He's he's one of those brothers that have phenomenal vocals. Soulful, phenomenal. He's actually the first brother to cater more to women and do actually an all-women concert. So rest in peace to the life and legacy of Teddy Pendergrass. Also, this album was put out by Philadelphia uh, International Records. And um, the jacket, which is something I love with the jackets because they always have the words. Most of the vinyl albums I have, they always have the words on them. So shout out. And um, producers, if you don't have this, you need to get it. It's phenomenal. Love it. TP. My next vinyl review is by the wonderful. Just he's funny to me. I've heard so many funny stories about this dude, as well as I also love the producers as well. And when I saw the um, album copy, I was like, I have to have it. Uh, this is, the album is, uh, Mad Villain, and is by MF Doom and Mad Live. MF Doom is one of my favorite MCs. I love his style, and, uh, Mad Live is also one of my favorite producers that it really, both of the artists, you really never get to see them live whatever but i love this cover it's very gladiator-ish there's definitely things that i like so that's why i got this cover i got this cover of fat beats because it was it just called me i haven't even opened it i think i'm just gonna hang it on my wall when i buy a house so see you guys i don't know i think maybe most djs would have this i'm not for sure um I haven't really seen anybody with a copy of this, but I thought it was dope. And then you look at the back. The back is pretty different, you know. And uh, it features curls and all claps. And ironically, Illis Villain, just like the Illis Publicis, uh remix. Curls, vocals and instrumentals, scene three. All caps, vocals and instrumentals. So pretty much the lyrics is by MF Doom. Production is by Mad Lib. Love the album cover. Shout outs to whoever uh, took the picture of this. This was put out by Stone Throw and Fat Beats. See you guys? So producers, if you don't have it, you definitely need to get it. Um, love this album. One of my favorites. Well, actually, it's a, it's a single. I'll take that back. But I love it. My next vinyl that I have that is phenomenal from one of my icons. Guys, when you see this, y'all probably will fall on the floor. This is Quincy Jones. Okay. I love Quincy Jones. Look at that album cover. It screams, yes, I am the boss right now. Look at the album cover. The uh, album is called Smack Water Jack. Quincy Jones. I love the old Afro thing. I love the green silhouette. I think that is so fly. This album was put out by um, A&M Records. Then they no longer exist. 
see that. And then you see the back. The back is something wonderful. I think that's Quincy Jones in his rare form, being real African, Afrocentric. And um, I love the fact that they write stuff about the album. And I just want to read you a little bit uh, it's the, what it says. It says, what Quincy Jones has done in this album is to bring it all together. Rock, blues, R&B, jazz, and just plain music. And even though we all know that music is music, it's sometimes taking an event such as this to sum it all up for us. If that's not dope, I don't know what it is. But the most thing that I like about this album, guys, is that, look, when you open the cover, what? That is fire, you see, Quincy Jones. And some, oh man, this is like a, uh, this is like a crazy, crazy outfit. You see that outfit? He is like, like he just came off the Freedom Train. See how fly that is? He's happy. Love the picture, love the afro. He looks really cute there. Love that. And then, um, just want to show you guys the album cover, which is something different. I guess they have the vocals. This is the vocals. Actually, this kind of looks like Patty, but I'm not for sure. But it kind of looks like Patty. It looks like Patty LaBelle to me. I don't know what you guys think. I just think that is a little, that's fly. So you see the back is different real funky and then I want to show you guys the front of the album see isn't that fly love it love it so producers if you have this I salute you if you don't I still salute you try to find it and it was somewhere out there shout out to Quincy Jones Still doing it. One of my biggest icons ever. <laughs> you know? And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my vinyl review. And I'll see you next on the next review. As always, I'm going to be digging in the crates and bringing you something new from a female perspective. Peace and take care. Thanks for tuning in.